What are the best laptop deals for Prime Day 2019? I have the deals, I have you covered, and they're coming right up. Prime Day laptop deals from MacBooks to the off brands to a massive deal on a Lenovo laptop. Hello, I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granite. I am a professional deal hunter, if that's not even a thing, but I've made it one, where I find the biggest deals right here on YouTube. I also hunt down deals for NBC, ABC, and CBS TV stations. I also host programming for Amazon, and I'm very excited because with that, I am an Amazon insider. Yep, yeah, uh-huh, that's true. And the interesting thing, if you look at a lot of the deals that I hunt down right here, many of them are not from Amazon. I actually find the lowest recorded prices on all sorts of products. But I'm very excited because as we look to Prime Day laptop deals, many of you are asking, are they as good as Black Friday? And the answer is generally, overall, they're not even close. There are a few that stand out. I wanna quickly mention before I do a full unboxing of a Lenovo and a comparison to this MacBook Pro, that Apple and Amazon generally don't get along like the best of friends. So as you can imagine, Apple doesn't acknowledge Amazon Prime Day, just as on Black Friday, if you want some of the best deals, you don't go to Apple for a computer deal, you go to Best Buy, but there are, MacBook deals right now on Amazon. They're good. You're gonna do a little bit better if you wait until the end of the summer. Of course, I've listed those if you expand the video description box right under me. There's also a lot of deals on Chromebooks, which I'm listing right now. Those are really good. You wanna make sure you have at least four gigs of RAM minimum for a Chromebook. And some of the Chromebook deals are tied to brands like this, New Vision and their tablets that convert into Chromebooks. And they're good, they're great. But for those of you that want a fully operational laptop, Lenovo hands down is still one of my favorite brands. So let's go through a Lenovo product test and then I'll show you why this is the best Prime Day deal. This is a nice basic box. Very well packaged though. I do like that when I get to see a laptop wrapped properly. So, the power adapter, the Lenovo warranty information, great. Okay. It's always very exciting when I get to unbox a brand new laptop. Now the finish on this, this feels fantastic. This is very similar to a MacBook Pro, which is, uh, Ooh, I love this, very, very nice. The one difference between this and the MacBook Pro is that the bottom of this is the hard carbonized plastic. It's not that titanium look, but again, this is not $1,800. Ooh, look, this is, this is a beautiful idea pad. Look at this, oh, I love this. Very, very sleek look. Let me get this powered up. I'm gonna put this to the test. I always get very excited getting a new laptop powered on for the first time. I can't equate this to how it felt when I held my newborn baby girl Mara for the first time. Although I will say, uh, I'd say the weight is comparable. All right, let's get this bad boy going. So one thing I will say is that Windows has come a long way in that it's not the Your old cumbersome setup. Not necessarily quite as fast as setting up a, a Mac, but I love that they have integrated Cortana into the process. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. She's very witty. I like that. It's fun. Now we have some important setup to do. This is actually one of the most Mac-like PCs that I've tested, and I mean that as a compliment, merely in terms of style. Whether or not you believe that Apple brings any substance to the computer realm, I will tell you that they do know what they're doing in terms of style, and the tactile functionality tied to this keyboard, fantastic. I'm a classically trained musician, for those of you that know or don't care. Either way, I'm very sensitive to touch and the keyboard on here is absolutely phenomenal. You also have Cortana. So if you love Siri or the Amazon Alexa voice service, you do have some functionality built in that you can take advantage of. I don't need to take you through a tutorial of Cortana, but I will tell you that the keyboard, the finish, the trackpad in an unusual spot, right? Usually we're used to seeing the trackpad here. If it's a Mac, usually it's dead center. This is a little bit more to the left than usual, and it actually makes for a very ergonomic typing experience. You've got a way to actually rest your hands perfectly. It is well-weighted. You have a webcam right here, great for Skype or other types of video chat, and let's go through the ports. You get two USB ports. You have an SD card slot, that's a huge bonus over anything you'll ever see in a Mac, headphones, and the HDMI port. I do not understand why all computers do not have HDMI ports. I'm thrilled to see this included. And of course, if you need to hard ethernet wire, you can do that to this laptop. You also have your power port here. On the other side 
you could call this archaic, but this is actually a new laptop. I'm excited by the fact that there has been a DVD drive installed. It's thin, it doesn't take up a lot of space, but if you still have old DVDs or if you download software or if you don't have access to a cloud drive or you don't wanna use a thumb drive, there are some of us that still could rely upon a DVD drive and my, my vote on this, if it is kind of tucked away and conspicuous, I like that it's there as a bonus, and I don't think this ages the computer or anything of that matter. So a nice big 15.6 inch display. The AMD processor in here is good. It's not up to the same speeds you're gonna find at one of the top AMD or one of the top Intel processors. For those of you that sometimes ask, is AMD better than Intel? It's two different brands. You can have a slow Intel processor, you can have a slow AMD processor. Generally, the AMD processors are great. The Dolby Audio on here, phenomenal. You get all of your shortcut keys for brightness, your music controls, and of course the Windows hot buttons, it's there. And I will now put this beside a MacBook Pro so we can compare the speeds. This is a $2,700 fully loaded MacBook Pro beside this $340 Lenovo laptop. I know some of you are saying in your heads, this is not a fair comparison. Well, of course it's not, that, that's why. I wanna see what a so-called low-end laptop does beside a very high-end laptop. If this can hold its own, my big takeaway message is then this is pretty good. And also, I don't have money to go spend on a five or $700 laptop right now, which is why I'm comparing this to the laptop that I already have for our studio. This has 16 gigabytes of RAM. This has eight gigabytes of RAM. This has a really fast Intel processor. This has a slower AMD processor. In terms of streaming, both videos load at the exact same second. I will tell you, there's, there's actually no lag delay. That would obviously be more symptomatic of your Wi-Fi speeds. But if you were to compare the video sizes, and let's put these side by side, because obviously Apple's retina display and all that other stuff is, is very, very good. The MacBook Pro definitely has the advantage, but because the screen is so large on the Lenovo IdeaPad, if I were in a dorm room or I was using this in place of a television, the overall brightness, which is a little bit more pronounced on here, is under no way a better viewing experience if you have several people gathered around a computer. You'll see this picture is not drastically degraded compared to this. The whites, the blacks, a little bit more dark on this, but again, we're comparing a $2,700 computer to something that really is holding its own. In overall responsiveness, I'd say that for your basic tasks, which means not video editing, the computers are very comparable in terms of speed. The RAM works very well on this. The solid state drive in terms of saving information, fantastic in terms of downloads and doing some photo and video work that I've done on both. I will say that the MacBook Pro has about a three to four second advantage. So if you are doing very large video files, that could be a one to two minute advantage. But for your basic word processing, your computing, quick video and photo edits, home movies, social media, you're not going to find a huge difference between both computers. I've edited video on both computers and exported identical projects, downloaded new projects, streamed. Wow, this guy is really annoying. And his haircut is so short in this video. And there's no lag time when I'm dealing with files that are under a gig. I've been very impressed. In terms of playback, maneuverability, all that other fun stuff. Let me just move the cursor up here. And let's, I mean, I can show you the launch speeds. In terms of the load tests, I, I still give the MacBook Pro maybe a one to two second advantage in terms of buffering large video files. I mean, they start instantaneously. They're the same on certain things, a few seconds different on other video files, but I don't know how much of a difference that's gonna make for your daily life. The, the RAM, again, eight gigabytes of RAM is better than the four that you would typically see at this price. I'm impressed. You're not gonna have your life changed by this computer, but you're going to have it enhanced. And given the size and the weight, I'll tell you the MacBook Pro and the Lenovo weigh virtually the same thing. You can see that in terms of how thin one is over the other, there's obviously an advantage to the MacBook Pro, but I, I guess my point is at $2,700, or even if you take a base model at 13, 14, 15, or $1,600, you get a lot for this price. This may be enough to get you through the next year or two. This may be great for a grad student, a senior citizen, an everyday computing individual, not necessarily for a graphics professional or someone with very demanding computing needs, but well, I'll let you make up your mind. I love the Prime Day pricing tied to this laptop 
Of course, it's a fraction of the price compared to the MacBook Pro. In fact, this would basically be the tax on the MacBook Pro for you to buy it outright. But do remember, you're looking at a laptop under 400 bucks. It's not identical, nor will it outperform a MacBook Pro. A lot of the time when I do these product tests, a lot of people say, well, why couldn't you just buy four, four different Lenovo laptops or laptops under 400 and 500 and 600? Well, I'm not gonna buy five laptops. I don't have money for that. So I generally have cash just to buy one laptop. But the reason this ends up being a good test for me, in my opinion, obviously I'm biased, but it's interesting to see an entry-level laptop or a mid-level laptop compete against one of the highest-end laptops you can buy. If a sub or mid-level laptop can hold its own against a top-of-the-line laptop, you know you've got something that's at least very good. So expand that video description box. You will score this Lenovo laptop at its lowest recorded price. You'll see the Chromebook deals, the best Prime Day laptop deals. I wish I could buy every laptop and show them to you, but I unfortunately, as I said, can't do that. But uh, you can read the reviews. And I'd like to thank you for being here. If there's other items that you want me to test, please leave me a comment. Let me know what other deals you're looking for this Prime Day 2019. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of the huge Prime Day deals as they drop, this is what you can do. Click on my head right here, that will subscribe you to this channel. If you need help turning on your notifications or leaving a comment, click here. The last big roundup of deals I did, over here.